Technology is the lifeblood of the auto industry. So whether it's to save time, lives, or fuel, technology is the core of vehicle evolution. Volvo's innovative AlcoGuard uses the principle of fuel cell technology to help reduce the number of accidents on the road caused by drunk driving. Drivers simply must blow into the small wireless handheld unit before the car can be started. The AlcoGuard then analyzes the driver's breath, measures blood alcohol level, and then transmits the results to the car's electronic control system. The unit also displays the results of the breathalyzer as one of three LEDs. If the blood alcohol level is 0.1 or below, a green light appears, and the car's engine will start signaling the driver is okay to proceed. If the level reaches up to 0.2, a yellow light will indicate that the driver should refrain from driving, though the engine will still start at this point. And finally, if the driver's blood alcohol level exceeds 0.2, the red LED will indicate that the driver is unsafe to drive and the engine will not start. More detailed data regarding the test is shown on the car's information display, and results are stored for 30 minutes after the car's engine has shut off. And since the legal limits for measuring blood alcohol vary among markets, AlcoGuard settings can be adjusted to meet specific standards. This isn't the first time Volvo has explored this type of technology. For the past two years, a similar system was available through an outside supplier. Volvo will now make their life-saving technology an available option on the Volvo S80, V70, and XC70 from the start of 2008, with hopes to expand it to the company's smaller models by next summer. Currently, Sweden remains the biggest market for this social and safety technology, but Volvo will offer the same system throughout Europe and the U.S. And though the commercial car segment will probably dominate sales, the easy-to-use device is available to private car owners as well. Volvo expects to sell 2,000 units per year. And that's it for this week's Motor News.